Good morning, good morning. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Can you hear me good? Let me know. Give me some hearts and let me know if you can. Good deal, good deal. What's going on, everybody? If this is your first time tuning in, this is uh, Anthony Abram, the Magnetic Networker and the, the virtual CEO of Be Legendary Incorporated. Today, today's Magnetic Minute, we're talking about time to sit and a time to stand. And hey, hey, what's going on? I missed it. It phased out on me because I was about to get in the zone and talk, but let me know who that is again. I appreciate the hearts, appreciate the love. You know, she got a little special happening over there. A few, a few balloons. You got a few, uh, a few snowflakes popping up. Uh, you also got a little, um, a little refrigerator. Welcome, Ricky. Rec welcome, welcome, welcome. So check this out. Uh, right now, I'm on the way to a to an audition. I've been called in to uh, to take in an audition for a uh, for a television commercial, and it's really exciting. And it it always seems like when I'm on my way to auditions, there are that's when I get these thoughts in my mind. And so today, I just simply want to spend a little time with you and kind of talk about actually a couple things, but I'll be real brief. And, and to the point, I just want to add value to your life. The first thing that, that comes to my mind is on my way to these uh, auditions, I was thinking about there's a time to sit and a time to stand. And what do I mean by that? See, in life, a lot of times as as leaders, no matter where you're at in your life, there, gets, there, there comes to be a point in your life where you know, you're becoming an adult. And as an adult, we feel like all of a sudden there's certain entitlements in our life because of our age. And what I realized is that I had to, I, I realized that in order for me to go <clears throat> to a next level in my life, I had to remove my ego. My ego was getting in the way of my growth and my progression because I had somehow in my mind felt that by the time that hey what's going on I'm driving so if I don't see you don't take it personal I, I'm just uh, I'm trying not to die while I speak to you <laughs> but here's the deal there's a time to sit and and learn and there's a time to stand and teach. You gotta know the difference. For some people, some of you out there, myself included, there's a time to sit and be a student up under someone to be taught how to become better at your profession, how to become a better parent, how to be become a better teacher, how to become a better speaker, how to become a better whatever it is. And it's okay. Okay, if that individual has a level of understanding and a, and a level of information that exceeds you, okay, it's okay to sit and learn from them. Now, we all know that sometimes everybody can't handle that position of authority. They just simply can't. But understand, as a you can be a leader, yet be in a, a, pu a, a pupil's or a student's position. Yes. You can be a leader from a, uh, from a student's position because it's really all about understanding how to honor that there's a season. You're, you're in a season of learning. And once you learn and you have your opportunity to stand at the front, I guarantee you it's a different view from the front of the class than it is sitting in the pew, sitting in the... In the, in the uh, at the desk so understand that and there's some of you who've been in that position of being a student up under some leaders for some time and you simply need to step out you've been learning you've been coached you spent programs you've been you've been sitting by the fire for like literally years and the only time that you're gonna see the success that you want is when you get up off your butt and you move to the front of the class and you say, hey. And understanding, 
moving in the front of the class does not mean the class that you're in. Okay? Imagine if your son or daughter, imagine if yourself, if you were to stay in third grade. You look a little awkward at five, six years down the line, still taking up a third grade desk. But yet you do this under your coaching and under your leadership when it's time for you to elevate. Get up out of your seat and let someone else take that. You're taking up somebody else's space. And I kind of mentioned this last night in our blab that we shared. Also, so, so, so stand up. Know when it's time to move. Know when it's time to grow. The other thing that's on my mind is this. I get these calls from my agent. And I'm blessed to have an agent. I'm not bragging by any means. It's, it's blessed. And so he calls me out. And he says, hey, Anthony, here are these great things we want you to go and check, you know, try out for. You know, I'm, I'm, I give all, you know, all praise to my creator with that. So I go out and in case you guys know, if you if you watch football, I'm a big football fan. So my family and I just kind of letting everybody know out there, look, be on the lookout during the Pro Bowl. OK, because uh, my entire family, all of us are going to be in a, a, um, a commercial for USAA and it's going to debut on during the Pro Bowl. So the Pro Bowl happens a week before the Super Bowl on the 31st of, of, uh, of January. So check that out, all right? So I look at these auditions. I'll go on auditions. Literally, you guys don't know how many auditions I'll go on. I'll go on auditions for like, it's, it's easily, I can go on 30, 40 auditions and get zero. Well, that may be a little high, so let's pull it back. Maybe I might go on, it, it, well, actually it has happened. 30, 40 auditions and get none. But I continue to get up every single time and I show up. How many times do we fail to show up for our opportunities? You've gotta be willing to show up regardless regardless of because eventually you're going to get a breakthrough and I can I always distinctly remember when I very first started doing this it took me over six months I went to audition after audition after audition after audition and some of you you want a breakthrough in your business you want a breakthrough in your life you want something to change you from the norm so you keep trying this you try that you keep showing up and showing up and understand yet you it seems like nothing is happening but rest assured it is see much like those auditions what was happening was i kept showing up time and time again in front of some of the same casting directors you all keep showing up and the universe will see you and they, the, the universe knows what you want. It's trying to get what you want and bring it to you. The uni Some of you say the universe, I say God. He's trying to give you those blessings that he promised you. So you keep showing up, you keep showing up and you know, you know what? It compiles a list. It compiles a file. It moves it closer. It builds up. It's like an avalanche. If you keep showing up and showing up and putting more snow on it, more piling it up, like like the, the auditions, the more I showed, they kept seeing me and seeing me until all of a sudden it aligns. The right thing at the right time, alignment. And for me, the very first commercial I ever landed was a Super Bowl commercial. And my very first commercial debuted absolutely consistency consistently show up consistently stand up consistently lead and it will give a breakthrough so i'm in a little bit of traffic now i just wanted persistence i love that thank y'all for the hearts and the love i gave y'all a couple little sprinkles in there um to see a little something different so you've got some uh, some little snowflakes that i like that you know that, that's kind of cool I, I like to be different and be outside the box so i i appreciate all the love i am going to make sure um, if you guys, again, if you enjoyed it, by all means, there's a there's a um, there's a catch version of this. Share it. Maybe you could be the breakthrough to somebody's. Um, you could be the gateway to somebody's breakthrough. And I know someone shared with me, and it changed my life forever. And 
I just, if, you know, my, my motto is sow good seeds, do good work, reap, then teach to repeat. So that's something I love for you to appreciate the love. Appreciate it. So uh, share with them. If you like to uh, be, take part of the special trainings that we have, by all means, you, you can get a part of my, my LinkedIn community. And the LinkedIn community is MagneticNetworkingLive.com. That's MagneticNetworkingLive.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn. Connect with me on Facebook. Um, we do we do a lot of trainings that kind of help you with your business and expansion and your marketing because that's where we show up. Yep, appreciate the love. Yeah, you got to give. You know, you got to give people that. Give it back. So, again, I'm gonna hop out. You know, wish me luck. Say a little prayer for me. You are welcome. Thank you for hopping. Oh, is that that Sang? That's my girl Sang. She's a phenomenal. You guys want to follow Sang? She is a uh, phenomenal copywriter. She's got a great spirit, personality. She just lights up the room. Um, Sang, we got to hang out soon. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. So I'm gone. As always, love you guys and peace. See you next time on the Magnetic Minute.